Hey everyone, hope they're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update of commodities, work our way through the dollar, yields, precious metals and commodities ETFs that I follow. I'll interject my financial opinions as we go along. And if you have any questions, check out finding-value.com. That's where I can answer those questions uh, as best my knowledge during the question and answer session uh, during those trainings. Uh, we do have a coupon code still going on. May Day is the coupon code. It is one word, M-A-Y-D-A-Y. -Y. All right, so let's dive in here. Let's see what's going on today. Uh, we always start with the DXY. Uh, a little bit of strengthening on the DXY. We still have downside momentum. I don't know if we're able to turn this thing around yet, but the momentum's lower. And then we've got a lot of support underneath us with these areas down here of trend lines converging, horizontal uh, and this 45-ish degree line. Uh, so we've pulled back with the DXY. It's been fuel for gold, silver, platinum, and all those. Uh, and we've had yields drop the past week or two. But today, stronger dollar, uh, stronger two-year yield. We've broken out of this pattern rising wedge here to the downside and are we going to get a return move for a back test which we normally do so that is what we're looking for we're looking for a potential move higher we want to see what this looks like and see if we roll over uh, if we roll over that is going to be jet fuel for gold and silver and the mining companies uh, they are positioning, the, the mining companies are positioning for moves higher. So I would expect the two-year yield may roll over here. That would be my guess. We've got the 10-year yield also bouncing on a lot of support. We've got horizontal support going across and support going across here. And we're at the cross section of all of that support today. Uh, and we are getting a bounce a little bit higher. The 30-year yields also at the cross-section of a lot of support. And as expected, we are getting a bounce. Uh, and we're looking for what this follow-through looks like. Doesn't follow through very well. It will roll over, is my guess, and move on down with these big, gigantic inverted flag patterns. TYX-TNX ratio did invert a little bit. Didn't necessarily help gold and silver today. And we are still at a very uh, inverted level where when this uninverts, our precious metals do very good things. Uh, bond prices just moving sideways here, right coming up to a resistance line pretty close above us. There's your resistance line going across here horizontal. And um, we're coming up into that resistance here soon. And then the two and 10 year, we inverted further, which means that the two year went up more than the 10 year. So this is inverting uh, even further uh, at this time. We're staying inverted. The gold was down a little bit, didn't like the increase of yields and a little bit stronger dollar, but it still looks good to move higher. It's just a small bloody nose uh, to day to day. So that's what we like to see. We like to see kind of this stair step move higher where we don't get a ton of selling pressure. Uh, so I think we're still intact for uh, a move on up. Silver ending up, ending up higher today, up 0.4%. Did lose a little bit of momentum, but we are entering or trying to uh, basically break that $30 mark. That is a huge resistance level. We've got a lot of resistance back here. A little bit of resistance here that we're trying to break through and get above. Uh, so that's what we're doing there on silver. Platinum ended up the day a little bit higher, um, more or less a bloody nose, and we're up above a lot of this resistance, which is going to turn into support if we do a retest or something like that. And then palladium was down about 2%. We're up against some resistance here, and we're just kind of working our way sideways here. We're basing out, which is a good thing. Um, a lot of the times when you get a big selling pressure move like this, it, it needs some time to basically base out before working its way on higher. XEU to gold ratio moving sideways. Um, we are still 
looking good uh, above that line of happiness, and we still look very good for a potential move higher for gold and silver mining companies to outperform. We got the CRV index just moving sideways today. And um, this still looks a little bit on the weak side for me, but again, just because it looks weak doesn't mean it can't necessarily move, uh, but I would still say that there's downside pressure on it. Still downside pressure. And then CRV to S&P 500, a little bit of a sideways day today. We've had a pretty big pullback here uh, in this ratio, and we're at a very low level for this ratio here to move on higher. So we've got a long runway ahead of us. We're just waiting <clears throat> for the right market conditions to come uh, and for commodities to be back in favor again. We've got GDX down a little bit, but still above support, still looks good. GDXJ just down a, a smidge, still looks good. And SILJ working its way sideways and still looks good. Crude oil up about 0.84% uh, right on support, and hopefully we hold. We do have a lot of selling pressure um, interjected through here. So we need to turn that around. What I like to see are some big green candlesticks showing that we are done with this pullback. What I'm looking for, uh, they, haven't, they haven't showed up yet. So there could still be downside left in this, uh, if it wants to sell off down in the lower 60s, which is a possibility. I'm not saying it is going to happen, uh, but it could happen. TTF gas up 3%, looking real strong. And this looks like it wants to move a lot higher. This looks like a uh, pretty strong move that we could potentially get if we break through the 3125 range or so. Natural gas still working its way on up for Henry Hub. In America, looking pretty solid. We did get some selling pressure with the wick at the top later in the day. Our boy XOP, yeah, you know me, it's looking better. It's looking better. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at these big selling pressure candlesticks. Um, I'm looking at them contract and contract into smaller and smaller um, moves. Um, the, the sellers are running out of power, so to speak. So think of it as something like this. Uh, it's coming up and it's squeezing squeezing into this corner here that's slowly going to work its way on up like that. Uh, so that's what I see there. We are above support, which is the neckline of this inverted head and shoulders. And we could be getting close to a potential uh, reversal candlestick or something like that where we turn on higher. Uh, OIH moving sideways. Um, we, we still have this, this selling pressure here, but it is muting and we'll see what occurs here. Um, when, you know, setups like this, I don't really trade. If I was a trader, I wouldn't do anything. I'd just wait for this to develop into a setup. The setup isn't there yet. Profits be uranium trust. Uh, again, we've had strong selling pressure, kind of a weak bounce. This could definitely head lower uh, if the sellers want to push it here because of this lead-in momentum that we've already generated. URA up above support, and we're holding at the time. URNM also above support and holding. And then URNJ is also above this trend line support and we are holding there as well. So we're kind of holding, waiting for perhaps uranium to do something in the right market conditions to come. URNJ versus URNM just moving sideways. We've got TAN uh, down 0.9%, uh, stronger dollar, stronger yields. This is going to hang around support if those conditions don't change to the easing. Copper, um, this does look like it wants to turn over and have a little bit of a pullback. That's what the wicks are at the top. Those are selling, it ran into selling pressure. Uh, so we could go sideways to slightly lower here and consolidate for a little bit. COPX also um, just down a little bit, much with copper, but the momentum still to the upside. Um, up, you know, when I look at this, the buy point isn't here, guys. Your buy points are down here. You should have already been entered into this. Not up here. Uh, lithium. Now, lithium doesn't look too bad down here. Um, I don't know lithium in terms of the sector as well, but um, it doesn't look bad. It looks like it's trying to do a retest here. And we've done a big retest on the bigger picture view um, here. So that, that looks pretty good. 
for a long-term entry point in this general area there. REMX uh, up 0.22%. This is the rare earth metals. Uh, we had some pretty strong selling pressure. We could see sideways to slightly lower in the short, short, short term. Uh, longer term, pretty cheap, and it looks like it wants to try to work its way on up. We've got uh, SPX uh, slightly lower. That's a bloody nose. Looks like we'll continue higher. Um, buyers in control. Same with the NASDAQ. Bloody nose. Buyers in control. Support underneath us. That looks good. Russell 2000 down a little bit. This one's coming up against some resistance here. We'll see if this rolls over uh, or if it continues on up. Um, you know, all of these areas here, I'm not really a buyer in any of these guys. I mean, maybe if you're like down here, this is this is a great entry point. This is another great entry point. Um, as we work our way on up, um, I get less and less interested in stuff that is more expensive. So even if this can go up, yeah, but your risk reward is not favorable. I'd rather go look at like emerging markets or something like that. KRE, uh, down a little bit, stronger yields. We're right above support. Still looks good to go higher. Uh, we've got emerging markets that is up. Uh, emerging markets entry point would have been all in this box here. And we are now heading higher. Uh, think of it as lower yields and strengthening um, emerging market currencies. XHB down 2.72%. Uh, actually quite a bit larger of a selling pressure day. Maybe we get a little bit more selling pressure out of this. We get more of a pullback if we break out of this uh, upward channel. But uh, overall, if yields do go lower, we're going to go into the affordability of the demographic. Uh, Moo, Moo still looks really good. Uh, Agribusiness ETF still looks good to go higher. We are doing a longer term retest here. So I would be looking to go long. This is an entry point. That's what an entry point looks like. Iron ore, um, slightly higher. Still looks good. We'll work our way on up. Be patient. Nickel's still looking good, up 0.61%. Um, I think we'll continue on up. Uh, aluminum, down a little bit. Uh, that is a bloody nose. We'll continue on up. We're above support. Still looks good. Baltic Dry Index down 5% 5, 5 or so. Um, still in this pattern. Still looks good to work its way on up. We've got Newcastle Coal Futures up 0.71%. We've broken the trend line. We're just waiting for the move higher. Looks good. Uh, BTC still within the patterns, bloody nose, still looks good to go higher. Uh, Ethereum also looking good. We're squeezing on up, looking good to break out to the upside and go higher. Uh, SMCI down 5%, but still we've broken the downtrend line, still looks good to go higher. That's just a big bloody nose. And NVIDIA also getting a little bit of selling pressure today. Her not much, still looks good to go higher. So a lot of stuff really hasn't really changed. I don't see any big reversal candlesticks or anything like that anywhere. Um, everything still looks good pretty much across the board to go higher uh, outside of maybe a few select uh, sectors. So uh, we'll continue to watch this together. And if you're interested, definitely subscribe to the channel here. If you like these daily updates. Uh, and if you want to get a little bit deeper into all these sectors and individual companies, uh, we, I am doing a trading view session, how to basically work trading view for people who are trying to learn uh, that's coming up on sunday at 5 p.m mountain time for the website so we got that coming up and that's all i've got for today guys so uh we'll catch you later this is finding value